So what am I actually going to talk about today? Hi and welcome to this week's video. I'm coming from my home studio where I've been set up now since my studio closed at the start of lockdown. And although I do miss it, I have also found some wonderful positives out of this whole experience too. Like for example, creating a morning art routine, more productivity, and even being able to work in my pyjamas if I feel like it. So for this video, I'm going to be chatting to you while I create in my art journal. This is my safe space where I can do anything I want without the pressure or judgement of producing a masterpiece. Faces passing by too fast to recognize Caught inside my mind Don't pop me loose this time In between these days Paths made of time and place Silence gets so loud to strangers in So I've been pondering what kind of things I want to share in my videos, whether to share parts of my life as well as my artwork. I really enjoy watching everyday stuff when I watch videos with simple snippets of the just everyday things and I find those really interesting and get easily absorbed. So I guess I'd like to include some of the everyday bits as well in mine. And obviously a lot of art and all about the creative process, productivity as well, or low productivity as sometimes is the case, routines and, and even minimalism. So those kind of subjects are definitely going to be included in my videos and who knows what else at this point. There's a thing of getting used to actually recording yourself too and being natural and not too self-conscious, sharing a little corner of your world. It's a, a really personal thing and vulnerable in a way too. But even with that, um, wanting it to be 100% authentic, to share an, an honest portrayal with the good and the challenging parts. And I found that even more important when I'm watching videos, especially during this whole lockdown thing. And as we come out of the lockdown, for me anyway, it's feeling even more weird. And on a positive note, it's created some time and space for a lot of people to do or not do things. Maybe some people have found that they've been able to have a rest. Let me know how you've been getting on, because everybody's on such a different journey with it. And I found that 
elements of mental health issues and certain levels of depression and anxiety certainly worry fear fear about the future and the changes that are happening and I have to say that when I felt worried or down or fearful anxious about things you know making art for me is that step in the right direction to sorting myself out if you like creativity has got a magical quality that just happens when you create and if you create regularly then obviously you're going to enhance those benefits even more and I feel really lucky to have a space at home that I have been able to create a home studio it's a really nice environment for me to just create and yeah part of that is definitely those magical benefits of self-care and art therapy aspects of it all I suppose especially when I'm doing things like this in my journal where I'm just expressing and creating freely and not I don't have a plan or a the pressure of a final painting in mind it's just absolute self-expression and joy and playing with colors and experimenting and that kind of thing so yeah loving that stable Come on, little fella. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you in the next one. Lots of love and virtual hugs. Bye for now. So let's see whether that actually works. Okay, so let us bin that. Yep.